Elon Musk showed off new battery technology he says will pave the way for a $25,000 Tesla. But how? Let's break it down. It's battery day. Tesla held a small event after its most recent shareholder meeting to discuss some of the advances in battery technology they've been tinkering away on, which they believe will finally make that often wished for cheap Tesla possible. But how, you're yelling? What witchcraft is this? Okay. First, a very important note. I am not a scientist, nor do I build electric cars or lithium batteries, so I'm gonna do my best here to explain everything on a very high level. There's one phrase in particular you need to know for this video, cost per kilowatt hour. It's a measurement that reflects the capacity of a battery pack, which affects the cost of producing a battery pack. Bring down the cost per kilowatt hour, and you bring down the cost of manufacturing a battery pack. Congratulations, you're an EV battery expert. Let's do this. Elon and Tesla senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering Drew Baglino took the stage and began discussing their production goals. They noted that the cost per kilowatt hour had kind of plateaued a bit using current technology and that current production workflows combined with traditional battery compositions were some pretty major hurdles to changing that plateau. They said they wanted to decrease cost per kilowatt hour by about 50% and they zeroed in on five different categories. First, cell design. After walking the audience through a traditional battery composition, which includes tabs in cells, Musk and Baglino revealed a Tesla-designed cell that was completely tabless that they referred to as the 4680. Well, why 4680? What's the significance of that number? Well, size. It's 46 millimeters across and 80 millimeters tall. Now, for comparison, the Model 3's 2170 cells are, you guessed it, 21 millimeters across and 70 millimeters tall. The new design enables cells to add 16% range, five times the energy, and six times the power, at least according to the slide. They also announced they would produce these cells in-house, in addition to sourcing them from external companies like they do today. Next, the cell factory. Elon and Drew went over how they can make the 4680 and that continuous motion and speed would be key on production lines. The new battery design removes traditional tabs, which eliminates the need to start and stop during manufacturing to install them. More cost per kilowatt hour savings. They also set some internal cell production goals, 100 gigawatt hours by 2022 and three terawatt hours by 2030. Very ambitious. Moving on to the next two categories, anode and cathode materials. Musk and Baglino said Tesla would begin splitting anode materials into three different kinds based on use cases. So cheaper, lower range products will use iron anodes, while higher end vehicles will use nickel manganese due to increased energy density. And lastly, more heavy duty vehicles like the Tesla Cybertruck and the Semi will use pure nickel anodes. On the cathode side of things, Tesla will shift from using graphite to using silicon, which is 20% cheaper as well as incredibly abundant here on Earth. It makes up just under 28% of the Earth's crust. It's a lot. With this strategy and change in composition, Tesla can also kill off a chemical process involved in the creation of traditional anodes and cathodes that's complicated and expensive. So that's more streamlining and lesser environmental impact. And the last category, cell vehicle integration. Now, this is how they plan to improve the way these new battery cells are installed inside an EV. They discussed getting rid of excess structural supports that become unnecessary with the large aluminum alloy die casting they're able to accomplish. And bringing the cells closer to the center of the structural pack would make side impacts less dangerous for battery cells and also reduce mass and the number of parts required to build each car. So five categories, starting with a new kind of battery cell that Tesla says would ultimately result in a 56% decrease in cost per kilowatt hour. That's pretty massive and definitely changes the whole we've plateaued or are plateauing on EV battery tech thing. Now Musk says all of those savings combined means a $25,000 autonomous Tesla passenger car is now a realistic goal. And I'm guessing they're already hard at work on what that looks like. A lot of Tesla's goals are 
ambitious, to say the least. And as someone who waited two years between pre-ordering a Model 3 and actually driving it home from a delivery center, I know Tesla hasn't always nailed its timelines, but this is some really cool stuff for the environment, for general battery technology, and for you, for consumers. Elon boasted that any company wanting to make EVs that don't license this tech would be left behind. And I think if they can pull it off, he'll be right. This $25,000 Tesla doesn't quite have a name yet, according to Elon, so drop your best guesses down in the comments, and be sure to subscribe for any updates on Musk and Tesla's excellent battery journey. Be good humans.